Something I almost forgot to mention, before removing the exhaust via those two bolts, you need to remove the O2 sensors. Now there are two either side. If you uh, remove your air filter uh, and housing, you will easily see them. Uh, this is the right hand side of the engine. You've got one that's black and gray over here and to the other side of the engine, which I have disconnected, uh, you've got the two here. I've taken a photo of them to make sure they, I don't think they can go back in the wrong holes, um, but nevertheless, I have made a, a note of which way around they are. They are easily removed. Uh, they have a various number of little clips that you just literally pull back and you are away. And I will do the same here with this one, if I can show you. Basically, we'll just pop back, do it nice and gently, because remember these things are getting on a little bit. There you go, that's that one out. Pull, push your little plug in like that, out, push the back of it like that. And you're out. Uh, once you've taken one out of the clips, you will find the second one. It'll come out mm, a little bit easier. Remove those from there. Very awkward to show you. But we're trying. Uh, and then they basically release that one down. There's one right behind a water pipe. But it's out. It's gone beautifully. Okay. So now I'm going to attempt, without any editing, to remove the said exhaust let's have a look see how we get on okay now i have one bolt remaining which i put i put back into the the header just to support the exhaust a little bit while i was there uh, you can pull down your O2 sensors like that and hopefully I can show you Again, be careful with these, there, there's no reason why they should be a problem, but nevertheless, they are subject to immense values of heat, so we don't want to uh, yank them about too much, because we want them basically to go back. Saying that, I think I've lost one down there. Oh, got the down. I'm going to have a lot of fun putting that back. Or maybe not. There it is. Right, okay. It's out. But of course, when you reroute them, make sure you go back the right way. It's quite clear, there's clips there all over the place um, to make sure that they don't rub up against uh, the exhaust pipe. Okay, so the two either side are clear. Okay, let's just put that down there for you. And, uh, whoa, what's happening in there? Right, take out the one remaining bolt. Sides dropped.
be done with another pair of engines. say another pair of hands might be a good idea but what we need to do next uh, to do the final separation is going to be these three studs uh, here and here to separate the headers to allow me to put the new ones in um, they are a nightmare bolt to get out um, you can do them on the car but space is quite restricted so it was i worked it out that it was going to be easier to remove the whole system as i was there and i will probably grind them out from the back purely and simply because i don't need the old headers i did remove one on the car as tricky as it was i will probably cut through with a grinder cut the backs off uh, leaving this face uh, intact and just drill out the final studs that are in the way because the manifolds sorry the um cats and the pipework is in remarkable condition and i just don't see the need uh, to change it at this time so i'm going to come back to you in a moment with the head and the bolts and the setup that we're going to require and the tools to attempt to remove the stud. 